What are the different types of roof trusses? A roof truss is comprised of straight beams formed into triangles, providing stability and allows for a variety of options when it comes to the area you want to cover. A common mistake is to confuse trusses with rafters. Trusses are high quality and can be installed faster while rafters are a thing of the past. The King Post Truss utilizes a central vertical post and works with tension to support a beam underneath. The advantage of the King Post Truss is that it's able to support a heavy load and can make for a stunning area when visible. The Queen Post utilizes two wooden verticals rather than one. The advantage to using a Queen Post Truss is that it's more suitable for longer spans which can be up to 32 feet. The Dropped Cord Truss is comprised of two sections, a conventional truss and an additional truss suspended below. This design is ideal for those who want to insulate their attics fully but this comes with a hefty price tag. Scissor trusses are relatively inexpensive to install, maintain, and repair. However, because of their design, there's often not a lot of space left for insulation in the attic. Raised heel truss is popular because it allows for ample insulation and offers superior support. The main downside to this is that you might need to add additional materials to get it to work with your particular setup, which means that installation can become expensive. If you're building a new home and you want a unique look, you should opt for some type of truss. The kind of truss you use will depend on how large of a span you have to cover and your budget. Check out the Fraser Roofing blog for more helpful tips at fraserservices.com blog.